In 2018, PDM Standard and PDM Professional are the main data management tools available in the SOLIDWORKS product suite. Much like the core SOLIDWORKS software, these tools offer a user-friendly interface combined with some powerful options for enabling easy file control. In this video, we'll be covering three areas. First, how to create a local view using the View Setup tool. Second, how to log in. And finally, how to navigate within the vault. After the PDM client software has been installed, you must create a local view so that you can log into the vault. To do this, start the view setup tool. It can be found by searching the start menu for view or by clicking start SOLIDWORKS PDM view setup. Once started, you'll be asked which server your vault is on. In most cases, there will just be one server listed. If there isn't a server listed, click add server Type in the name of the server hosting the SOLIDWORKS PDM archive, leave the port as 3030 and click OK. Then you must pick the vault you want to add on your machine. Again, in most cases, there will just be one, although sometimes you may see a testing vault. You will then be asked where you want the local view to be created. We highly recommend the root of your C drive, although if you have a secondary storage drive, then the root of that drive is OK as well. We recommend putting your vault view in the root of your drive for two main reasons. First, it makes it easy to find and quick to browse to, helpful for us and helpful for you. And second, we don't want the local view to end up within a My Documents folder, which isn't visible to everybody, or that is actually redirected back to a network location. You will also be asked who, which Windows users, should be able to access the local view again. We recommend you select all users, this does require local admin rights. Then click Finish. Now we have created the local view, we need to find it and log in. If you followed our recommendations, then the local view will be in the root of your C drive. To access the vault, double click on the folder with the PDM icon and the login box will pop up. If the login box doesn't pop up, you may have canceled a previous login attempt. In this case, right click on the vault icon and choose Login. Enter your username and password. These will have been given to you by your PDM administrator, or if you have PDM Professional, these may be your Windows username and password. Click the arrow button, and spelling mistakes aside, we're in. So, now we're in, how do we navigate? Simple, really. Treat it like any other Windows Explorer folder. Double click a file or folder to open it, and right click them to see further options. For more details on the rest of the interface, please see the next video.